So today's tutorial is going to be dainty little crowns for newborn photography props. This is a really cheap project, um, $20 or less, and you can make as many as you want. So first let me start out by saying what you're going to need to do this project. Um, you're definitely going to need some trim, and I got different kinds here. I got some thicker kinds, some thinner kind. The thinner kind, of course, will make more of a dainty type crown, but the paint was more difficult for me for this one because I used a spray can. Um, even using paint brush might be kind of difficult. I'm not sure, I didn't try it with the brush. Um, but the thick kind really worked well. Um, as you can see here, there's not as many, like, there's not, there aren't any speckles in where the lacy part is, where, like this one. This one, you can't really tell that it's messed up um, unless you're really looking for it, but still, I'm just anal. <laughs> um, I used Tulip Color Shot Instant Fabric Color Gold Shimmer and Silver Shimmer. Um, these came out really, really pretty. I really like what I did there. Um, and like I said, you can use a paintbrush if you want. You need a glue gun or a way to attach the backs of these together. Um, and I used Stiff and Quick Fabric Stiffening Spray. I had already had this, um, but as you see, I got it at Hobby Lobby for $5.99. But um, I already had this, and so I used this. You can also use Elmer's Glue or Mod Podge. I didn't try that method since I already had that stuff. Um, but what I did for this, you'll see in the video, I laid them flat use this on them to get them stiff. And the reason I wanted to do it twice is because these right here with the little points, I needed to flatten these out to make them stay straight. So you'll see that the first initial spraying I did with this, I just sprayed them flat and let them dry to get a little bit stiffer. Then I painted them. And then the last step I did, which I don't show you, so I'm gonna show you now, is I took little um, bottles and things and I put them back on, put them on a form, and then sprayed them so that they would still retain their stiffness. stiffness. So, um, just so you know, that's what I did. And I just used this purified water bottle. Anyway, so let's jump right into the tutorial. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is measure and cut our fabric. Um, I've seen a lot of tutorials where they say to cut 11 and a half inches. Um, and that's fine, but that's gonna take like the whole top of the baby's head, basically. Um, so if you want a tiny one, you know, you're gonna have to cut them smaller. Um, so I would suggest cutting uh, the fabric in different sizes so you can get, you know, different, uh, a variety of different things. So this one is at seven inches, so it'll be really tiny. And this one is at eight and a half inches, so I've already cut them down. Um, and then we're gonna spray them. I'm gonna spray it with the Eileen's um, Stiff and Quick. Now, basically, um, there's different tutorials out there saying you you can spray it before or you can spray it after. The reason I wanna do it before and get it nice and flat is because if I tried to mold these around something circular, these are so flimsy. So I'm gonna spray it before and after. Um, also, you could use Elmer's glue. You could just get them saturated with glue. I already have this because of my son's um, ROTC uniform thing, so um, you could actually, if you had Elmer's glue on hand, dip these in Elmer's glue and do it that way. So we're gonna go ahead and spray these and let them dry. Or not, there we go. Okay, We're, for mine, I'm gonna spray twice, just because, so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna spray front and back now, and then after they're formed, I'm gonna spray again. To speed this process up, you can get a hair dryer or um, a heat gun and <clears throat> dry them. Okay, so let's let those dry. Okay, so now that we have stiffened up and flattened out our um, trim, we are going to get our glue gun and glue the edges together.
As you can see, I'm an expert with, uh, <laughs> with the glue gun. <laughs> Time to paint our crowns. And I got these tulip color shots, but you can just get like whatever. You can get some fabric paint, whatever fabric paint you can find. Metallic or glittery -ish. Okay, so now that I've completely ruined my fingernails, um, <laughs> my fingernail polish was so pretty. I uh, see, I make these mistakes so you don't have to. I went and got some gloves. So we're gonna do gold. And you see how um, the tops of these are kind of, kind of a little bit bendy, just a teeny bit. Um, I am actually going to spray my fabric, spray. after I finish the paint, I'm gonna spray the fabric spray one more time. Um, I've seen more people put it around to make a form. So I might put mine around these that I got to fit. So you can also do that. Anyway, so we're gonna go spray painting, finish this part. <laughs> 